Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen. A very warm uh, welcome to uh, the Assistant uh, General um, Pol Polit uh, and the US uh, delegation. Uh, dear EGCN uh, members, uh, dear EU and non-EU law enforcement and judicial authorities, our partners uh, from uh, the European Commission, uh, our dear colleagues uh, from uh, Europol, um, and a uh, particular welcome to the new head of operations uh, at the EC3, uh, Marine. Uh, we are looking forward uh, to working with you. Uh, welcome. Uh, and um, also uh, private sector and civil society representatives. Uh, be all welcomed. And um, as many uh, of you may know, uh, this uh, workshop um, uh, was initially scheduled to, to take place uh, in uh, 2021, uh, but uh, unfortunately still to, due to the COVID restrictions uh, had to be postponed. So I'm therefore particularly happy uh, that I can welcome you. As you know, uh, this is a hybrid meeting, so let me extend um, my warm greetings uh, to all those who are present uh, here in this building, but also to all those who are joining this meeting uh, remotely. The ladies and gentlemen, uh, during the pandemic, cybercrime and uh, cyber-related uh, crime has increased significantly as uh, criminals uh, swiftly adapted uh, to the crisis. Several uh, <clears throat> major ransomware attacks uh, targeted the healthcare uh, sector and um, another critical infrastructure. We are now also witnessing uh, the impact of the war in Ukraine uh, on cyberspace. Both uh, Europe and uh, U <clears throat> US have increased security measures to protect ourselves against ransomware attacks and cybercrime in general. There is no doubt that the scale, sophistication and the impact of uh, ransomware attacks is significant, affecting all sectors of economy and society in general. This is precisely why our political leaders uh, decided uh, to uh, organize this meeting uh, and to combat ransomware. This is the reason why we are here today. During the next uh, two days, uh, we will hear from you as uh, key stakeholders what is needed to successfully combat ransomware. It's great to have uh, representatives of the private sector and civil society joining us for the workshop. In addition to your important role in prevention, your support to victims in advising them how to mitigate the effects of a ransomware attack is crucial. Mm -hmm. You will also <clears throat> have a clear picture of how an attack was executed and uh, how we can preserve the digital data which is needed for subsequent criminal investigations. When it comes to these uh, investigations, there are several recurring challenges for judicial and law enforcement authorities. There is not always sufficient available information and evidence. Encryption, anonymization tools, also the use of virtual currencies for ransomware payments complicate the identification of criminals behind these attacks. And because of the international dimension of the crime, different jurisdictions, different legal frameworks, and also different authorities are involved. Given these challenging circumstances, the success of criminal investigations heavily depends on close collaboration. Close collaboration between judicial and police authorities, but also between the public and the private sector. We look forward uh, to learning uh, from your experience and best practices as experts uh, in this matter. Before passing the floor uh, to Kenneth, allow me please uh, to wish you a very fruitful workshop, a very interesting uh, discussions that will foster closer cooperation and strengthen uh, our global fight against ransomware. Thank you so much.